Welcome to Life as God Intended. Today we're beginning a five-part series entitled, Listening to the Voice of God, Recognizing Truth in a World of Noise. This series is all about listening to discern God's voice in a way that's real, relational, and trustworthy. Our first episode is titled, Beyond Words, Recognizing God's Voice as the Living Word. In this episode, we'll explore what it truly means to hear God, not just by reading the Bible, but by connecting directly with Jesus Christ, the Living Word. Before we dive in, let's take a moment to pause and prepare our hearts. If you would, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and ask God to help you hear His voice today, even as you're listening to this broadcast. Listening to His voice in the quiet. Let Him remove distractions and open your spirit to His guidance. Romans 10, 17 teaches, Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. True hearing goes beyond words on a page. It connects us to Jesus Himself. This isn't about intellectual reasoning, but it is a relational, living response to God's presence. As Jesus' words in John chapter 5 and verse 39 and 40 reminds us, though the scriptures testify of him, true life comes from knowing him. I'll make two key points in this particular broadcast. The first being how to distinguish God's voice. Many attempt to hear God through intellect and reasoning alone, and that can lead to frustration. Yet Jesus speaks in our spirit, where his voice is unfiltered by our thoughts and emotions. Our thoughts and emotions are in the soul, and in the soul we've got all kinds of things going on, and often that's why we don't hear as clearly as God intends for us to hear. He speaks to us in our spirit. As John 10, 27 teaches, My sheep listen to my voice. A reminder to listen beyond the noise of the world. True hearing comes by hearing the voice of the Spirit. Are you in tune to the voice of the Spirit? True spiritual hearing happens within our spirit, where we're united with Christ, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. This is not merely about grasping ideas, but receiving his presence in stillness and in trust. Imagine talking to someone on the phone with a strong connection. Every word is clear. But if there's static or interference, communication breaks down. In the same way, we hear God best when we remove life's noise and focus on Him. Let me illustrate it another way. Think of Elisha in 1 Kings chapter 19. He didn't find God's voice in the earthquake, the fire, or the wind, but in the still, small voice. God often invites us to listen quietly, not through grand displays, but through intimate whispers to our hearts. When was the last time you paused to sense God's presence rather than relying on your own understanding to hear his voice. This week, take moments each day 
to quiet your heart and invite Jesus to speak to you in the stillness. And as he does, write down any impressions that he reveals. Thank you for joining us in this first episode. And yes, I did use the plural pronoun because it's always us and God, which means it's a majority. Next time, we'll discuss who do we listen to, where we'll look at the voices around us and learn how to distinguish God's voice from other voices. Until then, remember that God's voice is always near, waiting for us to listen. If you found today's video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Life as God Intended. And don't forget to leave me your comments and questions below. I love hearing from you.